Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make this guy. So this guy is named John, and he's basically a self-balancing active ragdoll. These are his brothers. They balance um, a lot worse than him. I'll be showing you how to make them. And then John, because John is basically just like them, except with a little secret. So yeah, you can throw boxes at them, and they balance by themselves. So I'll get right into it. I'm going to put in another character to show you how to do it with another character, and then I'll just resize him like this. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to add inverse kinematics, which is what I'm going to use. So first let me clean out this guy. Okay, so now I have all these bones here. Don't need this and I can just open it up um, I'm gonna need to get to the foot so select the feet and create a empty child for them then you can just select these and you'll drag them out to be no parent then you should just uh, get rid of all the rotation and then put it back under the the parent of everything. Then rename them to target. This one is going to be called left target. So left target. This one's right target. Okay. Okay, so now let's um, put some IK on the feet so let's close the feet select them and add a component called fast IK fabric you can get this script from the asset store look up fast IK in the asset store and then download that and it comes with this script and then the chain length should be two if you're using something that has bones like mine, like lower leg and upper leg. Then set the target, so for the left foot it's going to be the left target, same for right. Pull, we're not going to worry for th about that right now, it's just to help the legs ba um, bend in the right way. So now let me show you what this does. So to balance him, what you're going to do is you're going to have a script that makes his makes his leg go up. And then in order to balance him, he'll take a step to wherever would probably make him stand up, like these guys are doing at the bottom of my screen. And yeah, this is just how it works. And... So in order to do that, we'll need to send ray casts um, to see where his feet should be. So let's select these and then duplicate them with Command D. Then we'll put these under the chest. I find the chest works good. Let me just get the chest out of here. So here it is. Then put this under the chest. And they're not targets. They're actually like ray cast things so I'm just gonna call them left ray cast then I'm gonna select the ray casts and move them up to like at the top of his chest that should work pretty good and yeah so Now we're going to need one other thing. We can just um, duplicate these two, and they're not raycast. These are going to be the poles to make his legs look right. So left pole, right pole. And then select these. You're going to move them out like this, maybe a little far. I don't know. 
then you'll move them down to about where his knee is. So these are going to make his knees point forward, which is what we want. So now if I go into play mode, actually, so now I'll have to select his his um, feet and then put in the poles. So for the right foot, right pole, then left foot. So now his legs bend forward and that's pretty good so yeah now um, I'm gonna show you how to add the script so you need to add the script to the parent of everything just it's called leg control and so you're gonna have to put these in and then I'm gonna show you how the script works so the left target, left target, right target is the right target for the IK. L ray is the left ray cast thing that we made. Same for RA. Hips are the chest. For the hips, I'm going to put in the chest. Then leg step up is just probably going to be like, is how high the legs step up before they put go into their position. So I'm going to put one for now. You don't have to worry about these distances. It's just one step at is the distance between where his feet should be and where his foot is. And when that distance um, reaches like something like 0.2, then it's going to step. And 0.2 is pretty low. You can make it whatever you want based on how big your character is and how much you want him to be stepping. But you should just start low when you're testing for this. Now the leg speed, this should be pretty high, like 10 is just how fast his legs move. Now let's play and hopefully it will work. Yep, it's working. And so you can move this around and he'll step into place. So that's good, except this isn't really an active ragdoll. It has no physics at all. So to do that is super simple. All you have to do is just make him a ragdoll with the ragdoll wizard. So there's some tutorials on how to do this if you just look up how to use the ragdoll wizard in Unity or just how to ragdoll in Unity. So I'm just going to do this pretty fast. Okay, so I've filled everything out and you should probably leave the total mass at 20 or else you'll need to do something differently. So you can make it something else but then you'll just have to change something else but yeah I'll tell you that later so yeah th I'll just create it and it's pretty good except this collider the hips collider I think it is is too low so I'll make that better Okay, so now let me test this out. So when I hit play, oh, that's not good. The reason why he does this probably is because um, he the his ray casts are hitting himself. The fastest way to fix this is just changing the layer to ignore ray cast, and then yes, change children. So now. He works pretty good, except he's um, really unbalanced, so there's probably better ways to do this, And but my way is this. This is the secret to how John balances better than his brothers. So if you go to his head, and then this is, you can add a constant force. This is the part. Um, where changing the total mass from 20 would affect this. It would just affect what you put here. For me, I just put 150. You can probably do something lower than that, though, like maybe 140. I don't know. Hit play.
Okay, yeah, so that's basically it. He's a bit, um, wiggly and stuff. I don't know why that is. But, yeah. So, I'm just gonna check out the script. So, I'm just gonna go over it. So, I put a bunch of comments on, like, a lot of lines. So, it's basically all commented out so it's easy to understand. And if you just read the comments, then you'll probably understand it. It's not very complicated. But I'll just go over all the scripts. So this is my walk script. This is my look script for my first person controller that I have in the scene. And then I have this throw box script, which I use to um, throw boxes at the uh, guys to test them out. And it makes them have random colors and stuff. But this is the script that you care about. This is the leg control script. So, um... I'll just go through this. So yeah, we already said these. The these are the transform the the targets like for IK. These these are the ray casts, and this is the hips. I set this to the chest. Yeah. Leg step up. It yeah. That's how that's how high your leg will step up. Should be L is um where your IK target will always be trying to lerp to so it's it's where it's basically like where your foot should be except i use um vector 3 dot lerp to make your feet move more smoothly so this is just basically where your your feet's position without being smoothed out should really be l is like where the ray cast hits the ground so yeah that's where yeah same with the r's um dist l distance from the foot to should be should really be and then l stepping that's just that just tells my script if it's stepping or not same with r stepping last step is the last foot that stepped is a string so it's just basically like l or r capital and then one step at is the distance that you'll step at, like dist L or dist R, and then leg speed is the speed of your steps, like the speed that your, like um, the speed that your feet lerp at. So like, lerping speed. Yeah. So now in the start, it's just making it not weird, look weird at the start because sometimes it's like teleporting for a frame and stuff and then this is just um making telling my script that the last step was the right foot because i want it to start on the left foot just so it starts on the foot you know you could put this as l if you like right starting first it doesn't really matter at all so so this is just a raycast hit thing, hit L, that's what I call it. And then it sends a raycast from the L ray position, which was the left raycast thing, wherever that was here. And but um then down because it's going down, then yeah, out hit L. So send a raycast for the left foot placement. Then, um, it just sets should really be L, you know, yeah, to, to basically hit L. So actually I can just say, um, hit L dot point. Yeah, same for this, except it's hit r dot point and this is just the right stuff so now these just gets the distance for dist l and stuff and it just gets the distance between the feet and the where and this stuff so um now make stepping smooth so this is um lerping it so between the ik target and should be L, and the leg speed is here times time dot delta time, so it's not 
fast or slow at times. So this part here just figures out which foot should take a step and when. So this is just, it's only gonna, you're only gonna step if one of your feet aren't already stepping. And then if last step was R, then you're gonna step with your left foot. Otherwise, then you'll step with your right foot. And then um, if the dist L is higher than one step at, which means you're basically the distance that you want to step at, then you're going to start quarantine step L and last step is L. Same for this except you put R's here and stuff. This makes the legs Y rotation look normal by rotating them the same as the hips or chest. Step L. So left foot stepping function or I enumerator which is basically a void with waiting. So um, you say that you're stepping and then you put the should be L at the same position except move it up then wait. You can change this to however long you want your steps to be. Then should be L equals should be really be L so where the ray cast hits times one. You don't need times one. I don't know why I put that or didn't take that out. Then this is just some extra time so your feet don't step immediately after. Then you tell that the script that you're not stepping anymore. So yeah, I'll just delete this here too, but this is the same as this one. So yes, I hope this has helped you. If it did, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. It would really help a lot.